Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula. Hope you're doing well today. Did you just get yourself a Siberian Husky puppy or maybe you've had one for a couple of weeks and you've noticed something in particular? Siberian Huskies love to bite. It's literally one of their very favorite things to do. It seems like even though every single puppy in the entire universe likes to nibble on people's hands a little bit, Siberian Huskies are an exception to the rule. They love to bite your hands all of the time. And it gets to the point where you're like, oh my god, dude, when is this gonna stop? There's literally a hundred little scabs all over my hand and my arm. I'm about to be like, dude, if you don't stop this, I'm gonna get a loser. Because Siberian Huskies are so smart, and because they've been domesticated to communicate so much with people, they like to use their mouths to communicate with us, especially when they're really young. Husky puppies don't understand that they can use their eyes and their body language to communicate with human beings. So what they tend to do when they're little itty bitty pepperoni pizzas is they like to bite. Oh, and baby, do they do it all the time. It's like bite fest up in your home whenever you get a husky puppy. But guess what? Today, we're going to be talking about ways that you can mitigate the biting, ways that you can end it, and all that good golly goodness that you need to know about huskies and biting. Gila was the worst biter in the world when she was an itty bitty pepperoni pizza. It took us a long time to try and get her to stop. We did a whole bunch of different training methods to get her to end her terror of putting holes in my hand. So I'm gonna share with you today exactly what we did to get her to cut that out because she barely bites anymore unless we're playing with her. So if you're wondering about how to end that biting and you're just looking for more information just to ease your mind, this episode is for you. So without further ado, let's get into it. You guys Guys ready? <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right, so when it comes to your Siberian Husky, there's a few things that you need to know just going right into it. A lot of us get Siberian Huskies whenever they're itty bitty pepperoni pizzas. And if that's the case for you, if you got a Husky at home and it's a puppy, well, you're in for the I Heart Biting Festival, baby. Now, a lot of people get annoyed right off the bat because they get a Husky puppy, they want to play with it, and immediately they start shredding your hands up. Siberian Husky puppies have extremely sharp teeth. Now, I'm talking much sharper than teeth that Britney Spears or Gila have right right now. And because of this, whenever they play with you, whenever they want to tell you something, they're going to put your fingers in their mouth and it's going to hurt a lot. It's going to be like little razor blades grabbing you by the fingers. Now, like I said, people get really sick of this really fast. So the first question they have whenever they get a Siberian Husky is, dude, how do I cut the biting out? How, how do I end it? Or at least how do I mitigate it? How do we put an end to this whole me bleeding from the fingers situation? Now, honestly, the answer isn't always that simple. It's a little bit more complicated than just, hey, this is the answer. Siberian Huskies are going to bite for kind of a long time, and there's a few reasons why. Let me go over them with you real quick. In the very first few months of a Siberian Husky's life, they're gonna be trying to get used to their bite threshold. It means your Siberian Husky is gonna be trying to figure out like, how hard can I bite things? They're gonna be biting their litter mates, they're gonna be biting you, and they're gonna be like, dude, it, does this hurt you, or should I do it softer, should I do it harder? Whenever a puppy bites another puppy and they make a high pitch noise, they're letting them know, hey, you're biting me way too hard, dude. These social cues let your dog know how hard they're allowed to bite and how soft they should keep it. So in the very early stages of your Siberian Husky's life, it's gonna be really important that you let them bite, actually. You don't really wanna keep them from biting. It's really important that they learn how hard that they can bite other people and you and other dogs. Also, when your Siberian Husky gets older, they're gonna start losing all their teeth. This happens around the five to seven month period of a Siberian Husky's life. And guess what? Just like human beings, when they lose their teeth, it's gonna feel really uncomfortable. And they're gonna wanna chew on everything. So there's tons of dog gurus out there who are like, oh, you can totally have your dog stop biting very early on. You can train them to stop biting you right away. Well, yeah, go ahead and do that, but as soon as your husky loses all their teeth, all that training is gonna be out the window because they're gonna be biting everything to get rid of that uncomfortable feeling. So to make a long story short, expect them to be into chewing and biting for the first year of their life. Now, I can hear you all down in the comments saying, oh, bro, I cannot wait that long, dude. I can't, I can't do seven months to a year. There's no way. My hand is gonna be a skeleton before then. Don't worry, there's tons of ways to mitigate them biting your hands. Just because huskies 
are gonna be mouthy and chew and bite on things doesn't mean it has to be your hand. So I'm gonna teach you guys exactly how you can redirect them from biting your hand and train them to bite on other things while they're finding their bite threshold and while their teeth are coming in. He was like, I remember the day my adult teeth came in. Yeah, I was two days old. I was born a grown up. You crazy, you still a floofy little butt. Yeah, little teeth. So there's tons of different toys that you can get for your Siberian Husky that's gonna mitigate them chewing and biting on you and your children and your loved one's hands. There's different types of toys and there's different categories. You gotta know which ones you gotta get. You can't just go to the store and get like a stuffed animal and be like, oh bro, look, I bought them a stuffed animal. I bought them like, you know, a plushie and they tore it up and it like didn't work. So like, I kind of like gave up and then, you know, no, 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 no. You gotta know exactly what you're dealing with. You gotta know that you have to have the right type of toy for chewing. So let's investigate those right now. Okay, so when it comes to chewing mitigation, biting mitigation, there's a bunch of toys that you need to get into. The first type of toy you wanna get is a medium toughness toy. And what I'm talking about is a toy that's made of hard plastic, but is malleable to your dog's teeth. Usually this is like a type of toy where the plastic is hard enough to withstand the bite, but at the same time, it will bend and fold whenever your husky chews down on it. These are great for gnawing and chewing. These also feel good whenever your Siberian Husky is teething. Because it's not so sharp and not so hard, it's not gonna make the gums bleed. It'll rub against the gums and make it feel a whole lot better when those teeth are coming in. The next type of toy that you wanna look into getting is a hard chew toy. These are like antlers or nyla bones. Anything that's hard that your dog can rub their teeth against, not only is this gonna help them clean their teeth and keep them clean, but what this will do is it'll keep your dog focused on chewing on something other than your hands whenever they wanna bite on something. Now, if your Husky is super hands-on and they're all in your face, a great toy to do is a soft toy, but not a plush toy. Something a little bit similar to a rope. Now, you have to watch out for ropes because ropes come off in little pieces and little twines, and it's really easy for your Husky to eat those, especially a Husky puppy, so you wanna watch out for that. But if you're playing with your Husky and you're really active with them and you're hands-on, but you wanna get their mouth away from your fingers, a good way to do that is get something soft, something durable, like a rope. This way, your husky will be focused on the rope that's close to your hands and your fingers instead of your fingers. Now, we know that whenever you're playing, your husky is automatically gonna go for your hands, and there's gonna be times where they're gonna wanna play with your hands way more than they're gonna wanna play with the toy. What you need to do is just be proactive. Whenever your husky starts biting your hand, just make a low pitch tone and say, no, very firmly, you don't have to be mean, and direct them to something else. Put a rope or a softer toy in their mouth and engage with your dog that way. If they go to put your hand back in their mouth, just say no again and direct them to play with the toy. If you're having a really hard time having them focus on the toy, go ahead, pull out some treats and reward them whenever they do focus on the toy. Dogs, especially Siberian Huskies, react to positive stimuli, which means if you give them a treat whenever they're doing something that you like, the chances of them repeating that behavior are going to be extreme extremely high. So redirect, redirect, and redirect. And remember, don't encourage your husky or shame them for biting at a young age. They have to learn their bite threshold and they have to lose all of their baby teeth before they can feel fully comfortable not gnawing and chewing on everything they see. We hope this video gave you guys peace of mind. Trust us, if you're wondering, will the biting ever end when it comes to your Siberian Husky? The answer is yes. Don't worry, it lasts a while. And I know, it seems like it's gonna be forever. It's not, you have our 60 formula word. That's gonna be it from us today. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. We'll be sure to answer them ASAP. If you guys had fun today, be sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe so you don't miss any more Huskaroni Pizza episodes. And we'll see you next time with another episode of Guess What? Yep, you guessed it. Whatever we make. Peace! Scooby da ba 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 